today, let's explore five signs that you need a creative retreat now. <laughs> let's get started. So when I'm talking about a creative retreat, I'm not necessarily suggesting that you take a week off and you leave your family and fly to Bali and have a complete break. By all means, if you can, then do it. But if you can't, you can make a creative retreat last for anything from half an hour up to even a day or a weekend. And by doing so and giving yourself permission to take a little bit of time out from the busyness of day to day life, you will find that your well of inspiration, your inspiration in life in general is rekindled. Now let's dive into what those five signs are that you could need a creative retreat in your life now. Number one is you're simply feeling burnt out. You've been burning the candle at both ends for so long and you are feeling like, oh my God, I'm just exhausted. Well, funnily enough, giving yourself permission to maybe lie in bed and read a book that's counted as a creative retreat could be something that really will nurture you and bring you back to life again. Number two is, and this is a really, this is a single signal for me that I need some creativity in my life. And that's when people bug the heck out of you. So if all of a sudden little requests from people, everyday normal requests start to make you feel irritated, it's quite possible that you need to step back and give yourself a little bit of nurturing time in your creative cave or in your studio or taking yourself for a walk so that you can go and just check out what's happening in the gardens of your neighbors. Number three is perhaps you're feeling lackluster in your life. The sparkle's gone. You don't notice the colors on the trees changing. You don't notice um, and by the way, that's one of the things that I love, love, love hearing from people who come to the studio and come for a workshop or I've done my online courses that they find that after they've started to paint, their eye is attracted to the light in everyday life and how things all of a sudden start to feel illuminated and they're noticing colors and they're noticing shapes and forms and textures. And so that can happen purely by giving yourself an hour just to sit down and push some paint around on a canvas. You might find that you're noticing things differently in your life after that. So if you're feeling lackluster, you need a creative retreat. Number four, perhaps you're facing a crossroads in your life. It's time to make a decision, perhaps about a relationship or in your work or in your health or anything where you feel like you're facing a crossroads. It can be a really lovely time to give yourself permission to tune into your heart and listen to what is coming up for you. And that's when I found having a creative retreat is totally invaluable because it's in those moments that we really, really need to pay attention to that still quiet, soft inner whisper in our heart. And by embarking on some kind of creative activity, whether it's making wisdom cards by doing some collaging and some painting, or it's um, even putting on some music and having a dance. That's when I found that I can really start to be authentic with my desires and move in the direction of my creative dreams. Now the fifth and the final um, time that I've come up with, I'm sure there's plenty more, uh, the time when it's, you need a creative retreat now is if you're looking to rekindle your spiritual life. So perhaps you're longing to feel that connection to something bigger than yourself or feel more connected with everything around you. I've found honing in and slowing down enough to spend some time with my creativity is a really direct pathway into rekindling my connection with what I call the sacred. So those are my five times that I can think of. Maybe you can think of some more. And if so, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'm hoping that if you're at any of those stages, this video might inspire you to take a little moment, hopefully today, if not today, schedule some time in for the weekend to spend a little bit of time doing something creative, whatever it is that lights you up. Be kind to yourself, nurture your creativity, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.
Now, if you're new to my blog and you would like to some help to get started with painting and creativity, I've created a beautiful 10 day free e-course that takes you through just that, getting started with painting and creativity. And you can find that at nicolanewman.com forward slash begin. And in there, you'll be taken through how to paint an abstract painting. We'll do some writing and some photography exercises and it's loads of fun.